Welcome to the Radio 1045 11th Birthday Celebration. Hey, it's Josh. We're backstage here at the 11th Birthday Celebration with the ladies from Aces. What's up, guys? Hi. Hi. Good to see you. What's up? God, you're all smiling and chipper. <laughs> so happy. You just were playing uh, Firefly yesterday, right? How'd we it go? It was rad. It was, it was cool. so, so fun. So yeah. fun. Did we got a lot of amazing bands. I was going to say, did you get to see any of those bands that were yeah. out there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amazing. I think so far out of the festivals we've done, that's the one that we actually got to spend the full day there right. instead of like rushing off to our next sure, thing. Sure. So we got to see almost everybody that like headlined. It was mm. awesome. We all watched Eminem, which was how, crazy. What, how was this performance? It was so good. I'm a little so jealous. I'm oh. a big Eminem fan. It was amazing. So a little much jealous. better than I even thought it was going to be. Encore, lose yourself. Everything. All the hits. It was amazing. All the and I truly all lost myself. I you truly lost myself. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I see what <laughs> oh you did there. Uh, listen, I know you guys were here a couple of months ago. You did a studio session for us. Uh, you like Philadelphia? Is it is it a good town? Yeah, it's yeah. cool. Yeah. It's how awesome, how is it different from like Utah? Because I know. It's, is it like night and day? I mean, really? I've never been. It could not be more. I've kind of been yeah, like. Yeah, no, they're so. Di- well, I mean, I feel like the the community vibe is kind of similar. Like, no, but they're very different. Like no. Utah's like very mountainous. It's like a suburb. Um, not even just geographically, but the energy in Philadelphia is so different. different. It's like so tough and like. You yeah, just, just like, a little bit. Like, yeah. got, like, like, like thing going on. I mean, you, we, we, we eat poop and turn over cars <laughs> when we win the Super Bowl. I don't <laughs> yeah. know if you yeah. heard oh, about yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So oh my God. amazing museums and, like, food. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, I was here last time I went to, like, some awesome vegan places and, like, your guys' art museum is so cool. Have you been to the Franklin Institute? What, what, I don't think. Is it's, that the art museum? It, it, it's, uh, it's a science museum. And oh, it's uh, in Ben Franklin's name, and it's my favorite museum in all the city. I've oh been going God. there I since I was the, a little weak kid. I went to the Rod- Rodan one. Okay. The sculpture okay. One. But the art really museum, cool. that's, you know, everybody knows that because Rocky and, you know, yeah. everybody runs up there. Oh, yeah, but that's fantastic. That. So, um, one thing I learned about you guys, um, big Michael Jackson fans, is that right? Yes. Yeah. So I, I was going to make you guys like those gloves that he wears with oh the stuff on it. My bedazzler oh, broke he, yesterday. Oh, dang it. So I was like, you know I'm what, I can't do it. So I was going to say, can we like sing together? Yeah, I mean, I can't sing as well as you guys. Oh my gosh. But, yeah. What should we do? Michael Jackson beats. Do you guys have all separate favorite songs? Or do you like, do you what about Billie Jean? We could do Billie Jean. Billie Jean? Ready? Starting from the first. Do you want to do chorus? Chorus is not my Claims that I am the one. But the kid is not my son. See, you guys are great. You keep going. I mean, I'm, I'm not. I can't sing. That's fantastic. Um, and and real quick. Um, I, I know you guys, uh, big fans of Lord. I saw, you saw her win a Grammy, yeah. and you guys were like, "Well, we got to kick it into high gear now." Mm-hmm. Uh, what exactly from her winning that Grammy was it to make you guys go, "We got to do this"? I think it was just like a lot of similar. Like we we saw ourselves in her. Sure. You know, she was our age. She was also from a small town. Like New Zealand is tiny and yeah. so disconnected from everything that we just kind of saw. You know, if she could do it, it just inspired us to be like, "We could do it." You know, there's no yeah. excuses mm-hmm. essentially. I don't, and I don't think it was necessarily that we had to see that to like know that we could sure. do it, but it was definitely a huge, you know, it, very inspiring at the time, and yeah, she's amazing. Now, have you guys ever seen the movie That Thing You Do with uh, Tom yeah, Hanks? Yeah, I love that okay, movie. Okay, so there's a scene I in that movie, one of my favorite scenes, where they hear their song on the radio uh-huh. for the first time. And do you guys remember that for you guys? Did you remember hearing Stuck on the radio the very first time? It was yes. we were in LA, yeah. and it was playing in New York. Remember that? We were listening yeah. like online. Mm-hmm. But we, on iHeartRadio, right? The first time it was I heard it in my hometown, I actually found that clip from that movie, and I sent oh, it that's to awesome. my mom. That's was like, really cool. This is me and right you ran now. around the town, yeah. telling everybody, yeah. putting it on every radio, totally, yeah. going to the appliance stores. Totally, yeah. Of course. Yeah. All right, so you guys will be on the Mall Chevrolet New Music Discovery stage later today. Mm-hmm. Right now, of course, you know we're in New Jersey, so we got some New Jersey lottery scratch offs. All right. Oh my God. Let's yeah. see you guys win. I've never we had some this. big winners earlier, a couple Let's two, three dollar winners. But go ahead and scratch off. I've never done it. It says it says you got to match up. So if you if you match a number and you win the prize, it's underneath it. To scratch it all, and if any of your numbers match, then the number underneath the number that matches, you win. And if you win like the big prize, oh, you guys, so of course, close. you'll keep it, right? Wait, wait. You're not give it away. Is it only two? Oh wait, you're scratching all of these. Yeah. Come on, fam. Let's go. Give me the money. My gosh, this is gonna become an addiction. You guys can lean on the table. You don't have to do it on here. Who needs? <laughs> any matching numbers? Is that what it is? No. No winners? No winners? Wait, where do they have to match? <laughs> hold on, hold on. There's still hope. There's no, still I don't hope. think Still it. hope? Guys? Wait, it, any matching number? It says any matching number, like and then whatever the... And down there? Yeah, oh, then okay. if, if any of the numbers match the side uh, numbers, then those are the ones you win. Did you win $2? Uh, $2. I think we have a $2, won $2 winner. Yeah. $2 winner, everybody. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's so... McKenna is the luckiest person yeah. I've ever met in my entire life. That'll get you over the bridge. Yes. Like it's five dollars to get back to Philly, so that'll only get you two dollars over the bridge. Oh, so you it's, worth the it. it's worth no it. It's worth no winner. No. 
That's all right. Aces backstage here at the Radio 104.5 11th birthday celebration. Guys, thanks for coming out today. Appreciate thank it. Thank you for having us.